in a field. Very good. Tell me more about that. You've been there before. Very good. Let's look at that. You've been here before. Tell me, do you remember what you were doing in this field before? I'm working. I'm you're, working the land. You're, wa you're working. Working the land. Working the land. Tell me more about that, about this work you do. I'm scything the grass. All right. Why do you do this? Because I'm a farmer. I, I, I work on the land. I'm not a farmer. I work on the land. I'm what is it that you plant? Hand. All right. What it's do you... Just, uh, I'm here for the harvest. Okay. Like, yeah, that's like grass. Hay for the cattle. Hay for the cattle. Very good. Side. Look around you and tell me what else you see. I'm just working. Workers. A horse and car with hay. As you look around at these workers, are you one of the workers or does this land belong to you? I'm one of the workers. One of the workers. Very good. So you see a house. No, just fields. Just, just fields. All right. Very good. Very good. Let's move forward now. Very slightly along to a day of significance in the life of this person who is working the fields. So we may learn more about you. Tell me when you're there. I've moved into this house. You've moved in, into this house? No, we're, we've moved from where we were. All right. Where? Tell me something. This body that you're in, does it feel male or female? Male, very good. Or is there anyone with you at this moment on this day? A daughter. A daughter. Would you describe her for me? And a wife. Very good. Tell me. The daughter's, daughter's about 12 or 13. Very good. She, she's a light worker. She's a light worker. Okay. We have to, we have to keep her hidden. We have to keep her hidden because we don't want her to die. They will kill her. You don't want her to die? Because they will kill her. They will, they will kill her. I have some. She's a witch. Oh, I have questions about this. What type of work does your daughter do? She heals with her hands, with her hands. Lovely. Very good. I would like to know more about this place that you are living in. This where what tell me more about that, please. About the 15th century, I think. 15th century. Ah, the medieval been, times. OK. I've been here in another all right, thank you. What, what is it like there? What kind of a place is it? Share more about your life in this place and what the people are like. We have to keep on moving. You have to keep on moving. My, my wife is a hurdle. So our journey is just keep on moving. We don't. Why do you keep moving? 
Don't want to be found out. Don't want to be found out. Very good. This place that you live in, is it here on earth? Yes. Do you know the name of the country? It's in England. In England, of course. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to know now, as you are moving, tell me more. Are there other people who move along with you? There's people that we see. See, see we have a route to go on. Okay. What is, tell me more about the route. What is this route? The route. Yes. It's like a route um, path. Okay. We go on every year. We, we sort of travel. We don't want to get caught. What would happen if these people caught you? They would burn my wife and my kids. Who are these people that you are afraid of? Is that the name of the group? Um, no, they are Roman Catholic people. Roman Catholic. So this Roman Catholic, the church does not like you? No, because we're healers. You're healers. We're light workers. Light workers. Now, as you travel down the path, tell me more about what your life is like every day what what tell me more about that it sounds amazing i live on the land i work on the land all right my wife, my wife and my daughter accept herbs in the woods mm -hmm. they make, they make like little vows to help people ah uh, yes does your group of people have a name That's fine. Very good. Do you happen to know, since you are in England, who is the king or queen at this time? Do you know? King Charles II. King Charles II. Okay, very, very good. So you keep moving away from these people who want to hurt you and your wife. Let us move forward again to another day in the life of this man and his family, to a day that is significant and where something of importance occurs. Slowly forward and ask and tell me when you arrive at this place. They've killed my wife and my kids. They're burning them. As we, as we go to this scene, you are watching it like a movie. You feel no emotion or physical pain. You are just an observer. So I will ask you, how does this come about? How is, how is your wife killed? They're burning them. That's the same. And your daughter? My daughter. Oh, all it's right. Like I think it's got very right. attached to. All I'm, right. I'm not going to die. What happens? What happens to you? Do they take you also? I have to watch. They, are they making you watch? They're making me watch. Again, you're just watching a scene from far away as an observer. Now, we are going to leave this scene and move forward again to another significant day in the life of this man. 
Let us do that gently forward. And please tell me when you arrive. I arrive. What is happening? I'm on a pilgrim, my wife, my child, my daughter's dead. I and and what, what I have to do. What are you doing? I've been past the life of my daughter, my wife. Yes. Where are you? Walking. Just walking. I need, I need to get to Derby. To a sanctuary. To Derby? To the saint? Tell me more. A sanctuary in Derby. A, a sanctuary in Derby. Tell me more about this sanctuary. It's like a church, but it's not church. It's not. Let us, it's let us go there. Let us let us walk this path and we walk until we arrive at the sanctuary. It's in front of us. Tell me more. It's a, it's a lovely building. A lovely building. Describe it for me, like please. A, it's like a mosque, but it's not. It's, it's yeah, it's a temple. A temple. What does it look like? What color? It looks like a church, but it's not. It's not. Side, but I think that's a disguise. A disguise oh. for people. Ah. Uh, Over there. Let us walk they in. There. Let's, yes. Let's walk into this beautiful building, this place of sanctuary. And once you are inside, I would like you to look around and describe what you see inside this building. So bright. Bright. Are there furnishings? Stone. There is, there is like water. Yeah, there's wooden chairs. It's like a big sort of barn-ish mm -hmm. big space. It's a big space. Are there people there already? Yeah. Tell me about them. They're dressed in white. In white? White robes. White robes. Are they male or female, these people in white robes? It's male and then female. Do you recognize any, do you recognize any of, oh, I'm sorry, continue. I think they're part of the Essene. But uh, the Essene in England. The Essene, ah. Are you part of the group, the Essene? I think so. All right. Thank you. I, I, need, I need to go there for the last night. Yes. I think my wife, my, my child, my daughter's dead. Mm -hmm. Does anybody come and greet you as you arrive? Yes. Who is that? An old man with a white beard. Ah. He's, yeah, he's lovely. Let us, let us ask him, what is his name? Joseph. Joseph. How does he know you? I don't know. They've okay. They, they know us. From, they know my daughter. They know All me. right. They know my wife. Very good. Very good. Let us ask this man to speak to us and tell us more about this place of refuge. Tell us what he says to you. It's a sacred place. Mm -hmm. What do they do it's, there? It is the Essene group. Mm -hmm. We study and just live. We just keep the children on their own. Very good. You study. Very good. 
Now, let us move forward again and explore this life further to another important day in the man's life that we are following. And tell me when you arrive there. I have a vision. A vision? Vision from when I'm there. I've been there about two days. Two days. And it's from Joshua. All right. He says that he welcomes. There's a gift of golden light. A gift of golden light? I have to give it to him. And who is this you are giving this gift to? This vision of Joshua. It's a figure. All right. Why it's are been, you? It was given to me from my daughter. Ah. From your daughter. Leads, leads to go to a higher place. A higher place? Yes. We are to go there. All right. Let's do that. Let's give this gift of golden light. Tell me how you do that. I just hand it to him. It's like a box full of tin. A box? Tell me about this box. Could you describe it, please? What does it look like? It's like an oblong box. An oblong? It look that much. What color is it? It's wooden. A wooden oblong box. Okay. And when you open this box, the light is inside? It's just for the light. Does this light, does this light have a name? Is it called, is it referred to by a name? Light. Light. It's just, it's just the light and love. Very good. I think it's the light and love of their souls that I had to, I had to take my my wife and my child captured. They put this light in the box. So you, your wife and daughter, were you carrying this box with the light with you in your travels? My wife and my daughter. They were. And they gave it, it to you. The, Did they give it to the, you? Had it in their body. In their body. And they, they knew. They knew that the time had come that they they were going to get caught before they get caught. How did the light come to be in the box? It's a ritual that they did. Tell me about the ritual. It was a ritual done in the forest. And it is in a crystal that they put the light into the crystal. The ah, a, they, so the golden light is inside of a crystal, and the crystal is in the box? Yeah. That's lovely. Very good. Because new, new people were coming. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. I had to, I had to pass it on. And now you have passed it on. Does this box with the crystal exist now in the current time? I don't know. Okay, that's fine. We can find out later. Now, I would like this man to move forward to the final day of this lifetime on earth, feeling no pain or heartbreak, simply watching as an observer. I would like to know about the last day 
of this man's life and what is happening. I'm old. I'm just happy. You're old? Where are you? Do you know? Still in the temple. Still in the temple. So the temple became your home. Yeah. Very good. Very good. My daughter is on the family. Mm -hmm. Quite a, quite excited in a way. You're excited? Why are you excited? I'm not going to see you again. I'm going to be with you again. Lovely. Let's, let's go with that now. And tell me, as this man is leaving his body behind in this place and time on earth, are we going to leave this man behind now, the body, and gently float into the tunnel of white light? And tell me, do you see your wife and daughter waiting? You do. Very good. Tell me what happens. He's waiting. He's run up to the top of them. Yes. They're so happy. They're happy, of course. Now you're back together. Tell me, as we look back at this man and his life, is there anybody in that lifetime who is in the lifetime of David now with him? Okay. No? No. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Now, we are in the white light, and we are going to leave that part of ourselves in the white light of source to continue on their journey. This man is going to find peace in the white light, continuing on to his journey. But now it is time to drift and float back through the tunnel to another time and another place that it is important for us to see today. And as I count backwards from three, two, one, we will be there. Three, traveling through time in space, through that tunnel of time and selecting a lifetime. Two, almost there. One, be there now and tell me what you see as you orient yourself, allowing those images to flow up from your soul, becoming sharper and sharper. Take your time and tell me what you see. swimming. Are you swimming? I'm swimming. You're swimming. Let us feel. Swimming. Ah. I'm swimming in the water. Very good in the water. Dolphin. Dolphins. How beautiful. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask you to feel your body and tell me something about it. I have a hump. A hump? I have, I have arms. I don't have legs. All right. Very I good. Have fin. Have you have fin. fin. It's like a merman. A merman. How lovely. Very, very good. Describe more about yourself as a merman. Tell me more about this body you are in. It's free. I feel so free. Free. Good. Wonderful. 
Let's keep swimming. Are the dolphins your friends? Yeah, it's their friend. Very good. Tell me more about your life as a merman. We would love to get to know you better. Um, I'm like a warrior. Ah, a warrior. Been into an army. An army. Is everyone in this army also a mer? Yeah. Ah, so there are many of you. Yeah. My question is, you're a warrior in an army. Tell me why is it necessary for there to be an army in the Mer Kingdom? It's not, it's more of a protector. Protector from other realms. But I'm quite young. More of a teenager with this one play. Mm -hmm. Have there been wars before that have had to be fought in the water? Yeah, and on land as well. On land as well. Are you able to walk yeah. on land also? Yeah. Very good. You change. You can shift. But not for long. Ah, uh, how long can you stay on land before you have to return to the water? few hours. Ah. When you do go to the land, what do you do there? I think it's more of a school. A school. Just, it needs to be safe. What do you learn on land? The ways of, of the humans here. Ah. As you look around you. They're, they're quite dark. Quite dark. We are, we are, we are warned not to go there. Uh, we go there on, on outings. But you go on outings. So you say it is dark there. Tell me what happens on land in this place. There's lots of machines. Machines. Tell me about that. Ships, I think. Describe them, please. Hovering ships. Ah, they're hovering. What what do they look like? They're quite they're like pods that people travel in. But, ah. but the people on land, they're full of ego. Well, we, we haven't got ego. All right. We, we live in the light and the world. Yes. This place that you are in, does it have a name? Quite silent. You are on Earth? Well, it's half earth and half sea. Half earth and half sea. But we need to be careful of the people on earth. So this is so these so this place is on the planet we call Earth. I think so. Okay. Do you know where these ships come from? They're just about there. They are there. The technology on this. I don't know if it is Earth, and I don't know if it is on Earth. All right, that's the ships, good. Ships are ships are on land because there, but there's there's so much technology. I would like to we've, ask you. Ah, we've had battles with them as well. Battles. Do the and people? Do the people know that the Mur? exist yeah and i think they want to destroy us why is that because we're full of love and light filled with light we are full of love and light 
Uh, they are not. This place, is it a big city where the people are? Yeah, it's like an island. Really like an island. Describe this for me. The place on, on land is very tall, tall, futurist buildings, skyscrapers. Mm hmm. Like dome buildings on top of skyscrapers. This city, does it have it? Does the city have a name? I don't know. All right. But it's, it's hard. It's, it's too much noise when you're there. Mm -hmm. Too much noise. I've only too much there. noise. Very yeah. good. Very good. Where we go, we go on the beach. On the beach to learn. Ah. It's more to, to protect us, as in. Yes. To say that we're what we are, we are the light. Yes, you're the light. Definitely light. More of the dark with the technology. These people, when you say they are of the dark, do you know more about what kind of things they are doing that they should not be doing? I think it's the technology it's full of chemicals. Ah, uh, uh, yes, chemicals and pollution. We are so pure. Let us walk to this beach now and go back into the water. And I would like for us to swim and swim until you get to the place in the water that you call home. Let us go there and then tell me about this place that is your home. There's an energy at the end. To, energy to stop pollution. Is that in the water? It's in the water. We are protected. Okay. Tell me about this. Tell me about this energy. Is it a physical thing? Yeah, it's like a white light around our city. Around your city. I would love to know more about your city. Could you tell me about it? The fish, the fish come to you. The fish come to us and say, "Very, very good." But the energy field does no pollution, prevents pollution, stops the pollution with the land people. The land people want protection. The land people, they know about this city? I think so. I don't know if they know where it is. They know of the city. There's, there's they, know, they know of it. There's, yeah, there's lots of them in the ocean. Do you have a family in this city? I have a mom and a dad. Three brothers. Three brothers. Very good. Mm -hmm. What is your daily life like in this city? What do you do each day? I just play. You play. That sounds wonderful. I also train. You train. Tell me about that. Train more physical. Mm -hmm. They're like tests, but they're it's not hard work. Yes. We study. You study. What do you study? We 
study about who we are. Who are you? Tell me about your origins. We are Murray people. Mm -hmm. We've been here. Been here before the, the Earth people. Before the Earth people. The Earth people came. Yes, the land people are the Earth people, right? Yes. Very good. We used to we used to live on the land and the water. You did, and what happened? The earth people came in their ships. And they took over. So you were here before the land people. And there was been wars. And the people that the earth people want to go and achieve. That's before why we have to Yes. Before your people, oh, go ahead. I'm so sorry. The land people want your energy. So I think our energy is is something what helps the machine. Pure energy to help the machine. Pure energy, yes. Where did your people come from before they came to the waters of Earth? Where did they live? We've always lived on the water. You always, have. you always have. Ah. We have a role in creation. So you were the first people to be on the planet Earth. Yeah, I don't know if it is a. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. This is called a, a Yes. Can you describe what your city looks like? It's full of like tall castles. Oh, castle. And there are mountains. Mountains. Yeah, and rockery. Beautiful. Of fields, fields of seaweed with different colored seaweed. Fields of seaweed, that sounds pretty. Yes. Yeah. Lots of flowers, sea flowers. Sea flowers. It's so beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. It's a lot like the land, but it's water with colors and vibrant. Thank you. Now, I would like to move forward to a significant day and time in the life of this merman, to a day and time when something significant occurs and important in his life. So let us go forward and let me know when you arrive in this place. Tell me what is happening. I have a wife. Ah, tell me about your wife. She's lovely. What does she look like? She's a mermaid. She's so kind. So kind. I'm in the army. I'm in the Your wife, does she have a tail also? Yeah. What does what does that look like? It's long and there's like a big fin. What color is it? Green and green. Beautiful, beautiful. What is your name in this lifetime? Quan. Quan? What is your wife's name? Isha. Isha. Do you have any children? I have three sons. Three children. Very good. 
tell me, is your life happy right now? Very happy. And there's lots of uncertainty. Why is that? Why is there uncertainty? Because the, the other people, want, they know where we are. Mm -hmm. We're building ships to get to come to this sense of a war. You sense a war. I would like to know, these people that are building ships, are these ships going to sail on the water? Tell me about that. They're going to sail on the water. And how will they reach your city? By these ships, the, the army ships. Mm -hmm. Can they go under the water? They can go under the water, yeah. Like submarines. Ah, I see. I see. Thank you. So there's a great deal of uncertainty. Let us go forward again to another day, very gently, that is significant in the life of Kwan. And when you reach that day of importance, you may tell me what is happening. They found out where we are. Where are they found you? Yeah. What is going on? Yeah. Again, I would like to say, you are an observer like watching a movie. You will feel no pain They've or emotion. Ships on the, land. the ships are on the land. On the, on the top of the sea. But they're sending lasers, they're sending lights on these ships to try to, to destroy us. They're to trying to, to destroy you. And what happens as they do this? Are, are they succeeding in this? I'm starting to. We are much stronger. We are full of love and light. Very good. I would like to know, as an observer, is the battle going on now? It's, yeah, it's starting to go on. Yeah. Where are you and your family? I am by the, by the dome. My family are inside in a cave. In a cave. And they know. They might have to hide. Or mm -hmm. So the ships are sending this light to your city. Are they are they succeeding in destroying it? It's starting to resist. They do where we are. Sending warship. Tell me more about tell me more now about how this battle is going. How are things transpiring? We are much stronger. Good. You're much stronger. Very good. So what what is it that your people are doing to fight we back? Fight. We are fighting. We how? Have we have light from our chest. From your chest? We're sending light. So you're you send light from your chest and from our hands. And from your hands. What does this light do when it reaches the people? It's a bit like lasers in a way that there's a bit of a war with they've got shields and stuff like that. And in their ships. But it turns, turns their ships, it stops their ships. It stops their ships. Are the ships turning around and going back away from you? Yeah. Yeah, but the big ones are down on the top of the sea. Mm -hmm. Their lasers are, are going more. They're more powerful. I see. Let us move forward now to the end of this battle, when this battle is over. Very gently, going forward, 
to the time the battle is over, and I'd like you to tell me what has happened. They couldn't, they couldn't stay, the land people couldn't stay, so they're too strong for them. Mm-hmm. So they have retired. They Lost gave up? Again. The land people gave up? Yeah, there's lots. Quite a ah. Do you feel that they will come back again? Yeah. Okay, very good. But not just them. Who else? I think they will come back, but not, not soon. Not soon. Thank you, thank you. We're going to go ahead and one more time to a significant day in the life of this man, Quan, when something very important happens. And let me know when you very gently arrive at this time in his life. Their children have grown up. They have grown up. And what do they do? What is, are they, do they have jobs? Are they having families? Mm, they work on the land. They work on the land. They work on the land. One of, one, one of our sons is a teacher. Tell me more about how they are able to live on the land. Well, ever since they eat, so we eat plants. Do you also live on the land? No, sorry. The, the harvest, the harvest, the sea, the seabed. Oh, to the, you harvest the seabed. I see. Very good. What else is happening on this day? Me and my wife know that we've got to go. You've got to go. Where to? Where do you have to go? To source. Tell me why you know you both have to go to source now. Because her, her duty is done. Your duty is done. I would like to know on this day about your city. Is your city still safe? Our city is safe. It is safe. Very good. Thank you. So you said that you and your wife know it's time to go to source. Do you choose to do this together? Yeah, we don't choose, we know. You just know. So how, how is this done? How do you both leave this body and go to source together? Please share that with us. We just get the light taken away from us. How does that happen? Just get sucked away from us from our top chakra. From your crown? Oh, it comes from your crown chakra? And is this your life force? Yeah. I see. I see. Let's 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 do that. Let's let us leave this place now with the light. To source. Tell me when you arrive at source. Where I arrived at source. Can you tell me about source? What it is like there? It's lovely. It's like paradise. It's like the same as what? It's the what? same where we lived on the water. How lovely. What do, you, what do you see around you in this place? Lovely lush meadow. Poppy field. Poppy field. Is there anyone else there besides you and your wife? Loads of people, yeah. 
lots of people. Could you describe these people for me? Are they in bodies? They're in bodies, yeah. White robes. The white robes. Do they look like those are human bodies? Yeah. Yeah, but they're a lot smaller. Mm. We're tall people. I would like you to go up to one of these tall people and talk to them. Ask them about themselves. Who are they? We are spirits. We are beings. I see. Are you one of these? Are you one of these yeah. tall people? What are they all yeah. doing? What are they doing there? They're just doing jobs and daily routine things. But everyone's so happy. They're happy. Is this your home when you are not on the earth? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Does it have an actual name, this place? Eta. Eta. Is this, is it a planet? I think so, yeah. Ah, I would love to know more about Eta. What can you tell me? We are all, we are for the love. For the love. There's no, No, no fear. Everyone works together. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. What a lovely place. What else can you tell me about this planet? This is a stopping point. A stopping point between what places? Between water here. Once we have lived our lives, we live our life here. Then once we've lived our life here, we go back to the water. 